Alrighty, welcome back to uh, YouTube, Phil. Wanted to uh, continue showing you some of these uh, new guitars I've had painted uh, recently. Uh, this is the uh, second one. This is called the, uh, I call this the uh, BB-1. Here's a, uh, a quick look at it. Um, I wanted to say though, um, I should probably preface this by um, explaining what my general approach to uh, designing guitars is, and maybe the best way to do this is by comparison. Um, so this is a, um, a guitar, this is a uh, Fender uh, Telecaster. This guitar was designed and built, as I understand, back in the uh, late 50s. Uh, this guitar wasn't built specifically in the late 50s. This, this is a copy, uh, probably built like in uh, the year 2000. But the design itself was established back in the late 50s uh, when manufacturing approaches are quite a bit different. But as you can see, it's basically a flat piece of wood. Um, it's got a flat front, flat back. Um, you can see how flat it is. Um, it's a great guitar. It's, a, it's an icon, especially in country and western music. Um, but again, this uh, guitar was designed back in the 50s when uh, manufacturing processes were quite a bit different. So it's basically you, you take a flat slab of wood and you um, machine out or take a router and just kind of uh, profile out the outside uh, geometry. So, so my approach is um, um, takes a nod to more modern uh, manufacturing approaches of the, of the uh, 21st century where things are done on uh, sophisticated computerized uh, milling machines and so I basically design my guitar on a computer aided design program in the uh, digital medium and then I can download that file to a, uh, a computerized milling machine and I can get um, any type of uh, curvature or surface that I can I can imagine and employ so that's my uh, my basic approach um, this guitar, as you can see, was painted in a, uh, I, think it's, I think it's called a uh, surf green. Uh, it's got a, a light metaflake. I think you can kind of see that a little bit there, uh, pearlescence. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Again, this, this one has the uh, mahogany neck. And um, let's take a look at the headstock there. But um, I think it sounds pretty good. Um, has uh, dual humbuckers, humbuckers in both the uh, bridge and neck position. So that's the, uh, the, the clean uh, condition. Here's a little bit of a uh, uh, distortion and wah wah from uh, the line six that you can't see on the floor down here. Anyways, there you go. That's a look at the uh, the uh, BB1. Uh, stay tuned for other uh, videos as they uh, as they come along. Bye bye.